Part 2 Head Muscles This part of the video is dedicated to the muscles of the human head. The information in this video will help you to better understand how facial expressions are formed and what muscles influence the appearance of the face. There are more than 60 muscles in the human head, including some that begin in the neck. However, as a fine artist, you don't need to know every last muscle. We will examine only those that contribute to facial expressions and the shape of the head. In this video, we will use the drawing of a skull made in part one. The muscles will be marked in red pencil. I will call the muscles by their common names and descriptions. The Latin names are for information only. You don't have to memorize them. As a fine artist, you need to keep in mind that eyelids have a thickness that you need to depict in realistic portraits. The orbital portion of the eye's round muscle is responsible for squeezing or narrowing the eyes. It causes the crow's feet wrinkles that can form in the outer corner of the eye. On both sides of the nose is a pair of muscles that elevates the upper lip. These muscles can work together to lift the entire upper lip or separately, lifting only one side at a time. The primary mouth muscle is called the orbiculus oris. It has an oval shape and goes around the mouth, forming the lips. The main action of this muscle is to close the lips. Many other muscles intervene with this mouth muscle. Together, they move the mouth into different positions and contribute to lip movements and speech. The fan-shaped muscle on the side of the head is called the temporalis. It is a powerful, flat muscle that pulls the lower jaw upward. Usually, it is covered by hair, but on a bald head, it is easily discernible, especially when a person is chewing.